Good morning and welcome to our reflection for this week. According to the UNESCO website, August the 23rd each year is recognised as an international day for the remembrance of the slave trade and its abolition. That particular date was chosen because it marks the beginning of an uprising in Haiti and the Dominican Republic that would play a key role in the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade. Slavery has sadly been around almost since time began. But this day offers us an opportunity to remember this tragic and quite frankly appalling aspect of our history. Between 1526 and 1867 alone, some 12 and a half million slaves were shipped from Africa to the Americas. That does not include figures for the UK slave trade. During their passage, men, women and children were kept naked, packed closely together and chained for much of the journey. Approximately 12% did not survive the passage. The film Amazing Grace, released in 2006, chronicles the campaign by uh, William Wilberforce against the British slave trade. It is an excellent film, though a very challenging watch. Wilberforce began his campaigning as a young member of Parliament and with the encouragement of others and the support of others, his very unpopular crusade went on for almost 20 years. He regularly brought the issue before Parliament. Eventually, on the 25th of March, 1807, the bill to abolish the UK slave trade was passed. Mauritania was the last country in the world to abolish slavery. And that was as recent as 1981. However, slavery is by no means a thing of the past. Although slavery has officially been abolished, modern day enslavement is no longer centred around legal ownership as it once was, but rather around illegal control. Although specific statistics are very hard to come by, it is estimated that today there are approximately 40 million people subject to illegal slavery around our world. That includes, amongst other things, forced labour in all sorts of forms, including child labour. And it also includes sexual exploitation. In 2014, it was estimated that the total revenue for illegal people trafficking was over $150 billion. I don't know about you, but for me, that feels horribly, horribly overwhelming. The website End Slavery Now encourages us to engage in three things. To learn, to connect and to act. Learning is quite simply about educating ourselves to this problem and not burying our heads in the sands. The End Slavery Now website contains some excellent resources. Connecting is about finding out what organisations exist in your own nation. You can also find resources of how to get involved on the antislavery.org website. The End Slavery Now website contains a library of over 400 ideas of how you can act to end slavery. Just one aspect that I believe all of us can choose to engage in is to shop ethically. You can find all sorts of advice and resources online to help you make such changes. 
shop fair trade. Whether it's coffee, chocolate or clothing, fair trade companies and their workers are paid a fair price for what they produce. Get creative. Reuse and recycle rather than always buying new. If you're a Medway student, you might want to support our Bargain Corner on campus. To find out more, simply contact the Medway campus chaplain. Let's all choose today to make even the smallest changes in order to end the enslavement of so many around our world. I hope you have a great week.